OPSEC is a term that comes from the military. It's about hiding your information from your adversaries. So I'm not talking about you need to hide your information from another army. These days is about keeping your information confidential and especially don't provide it for free to your competitors or to anybody else who might be interested in that. So maybe you think this is something that cannot happen to you, but think if you have information that could be interested for anyone, or if you have access to someone who could be interested for anyone else. All this information is important. So OPSEC is a discipline, and the first principle, the most important point is silence. It's not only about techniques, it's not only about tools, it's mainly about a, a personal state, about this discipline of not providing this information to other people who might use it against you. So uh, implementing good OPSEC is really complex. It's not easy task because it should be done 24 per 7. And there are very simple steps, very simple tips that we can provide. One of them is silence. As I said, it's not only with your computer, it's also when you are talking to someone else, do you not provide information for free? But also, on a more technical level, there are a few tips that we can provide. One of them is about the use of email. Email is a nightmare in terms of operational security because even if you are encrypting the data, you are providing a lot of free metadata. So maybe people don't even need to know what's the content of the email to know what you are talking about. But encryption is your friend. Definitely is one of the few ways that you have to, uh, let's say, have your information to keep it secure from anybody who has the power to have access uh, to this. Also, another important, important tip is about when you are on the road. When you are on the road, my recommendation is do not bring your uh, work laptop with you. You can just have a travel laptop with nothing in it. If you need something important, just encrypt it, put it somewhere on the internet, and when you reach your destination, safely download and work on that. Finally, about the use of iPhones, or sorry, the, the use of phones, telephones. Um, just think what I said about email. If email is one nightmare, and a telephone is a tracking device, so maybe you can just use your phone for making phone calls. Just forget about the smart part. Don't store anything important there. You shouldn't have your company's email. You shouldn't have something confidential. Just use your phone as a phone, and you will be all right.